I used to work on Wall Street. I got laid off and I was you know, looking for something to do with my life and my dream has always been to open a restaurant. I got the idea going back to uh, visiting my sister in California. She's lived out there for the past eight years and she lives in Santa Monica and they have um, numerous burrito places, taco stands and they're like the, the pizzerias of the East Coast that dot the West Coast. I'm his fiance, so I'm really here um, throughout the day and night helping out, making sure that everything's running smoothly. Um, I generally take care of the counter and Tim takes care of the kitchen. So I'm scheduling, I'm making sure everyone's arriving on time, just pretty much managing the front half of the restaurant. Um, but it's a lot because I'm also a teacher. So after my long day of teaching, then I come here and help out at the restaurant. It is my favorite food to cook, and um, the idea was to, to base it off the West Coast style burrito bars. Um, not a lot of places on Long Island serve the large burrito that, that we serve. It's almost two pounds. And, that's a staple out in California. And uh, developing the menu, we traveled and we had family members send us menus from Florida, Colorado, California. A guilt trip. The guilt trip. Yeah, it's actually not on the menu. Uh, my sister told me to get it. Uh, it's really good. It's uh, bacon, cheese, chicken, potatoes, all wrapped up. It's really good. I guess a lot of things aren't too good for you, but it tastes good. Might have been on the menu for a few weeks, and then they took it off. I don't know. I mean, my sister told me about it, and I came in and asked if they would make it. They had the stuff, so they just prepared it for me right there. The guilt trip at one time was a special. It was a special item. Um, and then what happens is when it gets off the special board, the people who have had it still want it. So they come in and they order it, and it's not anywhere on our paper menu or on our chalkboards. So they just order it, and it sounds like it's a secret menu because the people online are like, wait, what are they ordering? Where is that? You know, so it's kind of funny because our, our everyday customers know about all those special items. So in a way, we do kind of have a secret menu. The Cali chicken. Whoa, what's in there? <laughs> uh, chicken, and uh, guacamole, pineapple, tomato, granola, lettuce. I was the one who ventured over here one day after I was at Gino's Pizzeria next door and I looked inside and I saw a lot of people in here and I came in by the men I saw the menu and I was like wow all this food looks really appetizing so then my mom ordered the Cali she got it and then I ordered it and now I'm hooked on it too. You know, what's a perfect burrito for you? Um, it would definitely be a chicken Idaho on whole wheat. It has potatoes, sour cream, scallions and chicken in it all wrapped up and the cheese melted too. Is that, is that because you work here? No, it's really good. <laughs> hard shell tacos or soft shell tacos? I go for the hard. I like them better. <laughs> we just moved in together uh, two weeks ago and it's actually a benefit because before we were in separate households and you know I would be here all morning and afternoon Connie would arrive and the only time we would see each other would be at work. Um, we would end the day and we would just go our separate ways but now we can go back to the same house and a little more time together and it's uh, definitely strengthened our relationship. Mm -hmm. We've been together for eight years, we know everything about each other and you know nothing's come out in the last year that's new. Um, but I think it's I think it can better your relationship by owning a business together. You get to see each other more because when you are an entrepreneur you, you do spend a lot of hours at your business to, so to have your spouse there and it, it's nice you know. Nice to see the person. Yeah, um, at first, I was a little eerie about how this would work, but um, it's actually turning out to be really nice. And like he said, it's a nice thing that we get to see each other as much as we do, because if I didn't come here, I probably would never see him. So it's a nice thing.